Hello, lovely students. Welcome to class. In this lesson, I'll be teaching reception office. We are going to see the meaning of reception office, which is a room set aside for receiving and directing all visitors to an organization. Usually, government establishments, public and private organizations are regularly having visitors from all works of life who are normally welcomed by the receptionist. Let's look at who the receptionist is. The receptionist is a staff of an organization who is usually at the waiting area of an office such as a lobby or front office desk and responsible for receiving and directing visitors to the organization. That is the responsibility of the receptionist. All right, so let's look at the duties of a receptionist. Now, let's begin with this. Number one, they are in charge or responsible of receiving visitors into the organization. And they are also responsible for directing them promptly to different departments and offices within the organization. All right, so we are going to look at their second duty, which is handling of telephone. The receptionist controls the telephone switchboard and answer phone calls to the organization in a professional manner before directing them to different offices in the organization if necessary. All right, these are some of the duties of the receptionist. All right, that will lead us to importance of a receptionist. However, this importance works hand in hand with the duty of the receptionist. So let's take it from this. They are in charge of receiving visitors, like I earlier mentioned. They are also responsible for controlling the telephone switchboard and answering of phone calls in the organization and much more. All right, so that will take us to qualities of a receptionist. First thing is the receptionist must have a sound education background. Secondly, he or she must have good listening skills and be patient with every visitor or caller. He should be polite to the visitors, should be friendly to the visitors, and so more. All right, we are going to look at the next. How to receive and treat visitors. It begins with, thank you for coming. You are welcome and nice meeting you. It was a pleasure having you. It was great to meet you. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a safe trip. And this will gladden the heart of the visitors. Now let's look at types of visitors. We have visitors on prior appointment. We have visitors not on prior appointment. There are casual visitors and emergency visitors. Now, as we go along in this class, I'll take them one after the other. Now, let's begin with visitors on prior appointment. These are visitors whose visit has been prearranged well ahead of time. A definite date and time is usually given to such visitors to see the officer they wish to visit for their discussion. That is referred to as visitors on prior appointment. Now, let's look at the next visitors not on prior appointment. These are visitors who are not expected by the officers they have gone to visit. No prior appointment was booked 
in advance before embarking on the visit. All right? These visitors should also be received warmly and assisted by the receptionist. Let's look at the casual visitors. These are visitors who are not on appointment. Some of them may be visiting the organization for the first time to make inquiries or transact their businesses. When a casual visitor enters the reception room, the receptionist should also receive him or her warmly. All right, let's look at the next, which is emergency visitors. These are visitors that are very important and rare visitors to the organization. They occupy sensitive positions in government or in the society. The presence of an emergency visitor should be announced immediately to the head of the establishment or the officer visited. All right. Now let's go to appropriate and inappropriate office dress code. A dress code is a set of rules governing what outfits may be worn in the organization. A receptionist must appear decent at all times. For female, for example, knee length or ankle length skirts, etc. All right, let us look at documents handled by the receptionist. One, visitor's book or visitor's register. They also handle the telephone message form or pad. They also handle appointment register, business card, and more. We are going to take them one after the other. Let's begin with visitor's book or visitor's register. This is a book in which detailed information is recorded about everyone who visits an organization. This book needs to be updated every working day. The visitor's book has columns for personal information, name and address, purpose of visit, office room, officer visited, time of arrival and departure. All right, above is the example. Now, let's look at telephone message form or part. This is a very important document in which a receptionist can record messages received on the telephone from members of staff who may have gone outside the office or who might be very busy at the time of the call. All right? So it is used for recording all telephone messages. Okay, let's look at appointment register. The appointment register is kept by the receptionist for recording information concerning visitors on appointment. It usually indicates the name of the visitor, the appointment time, date, the officer or department to be visited. All right. So that is appointment register. Let us look at the next, which is business card. This is commonly called complimentary card, all right? It is a small document that introduces an employee or a person whose name is printed on it. A business card shows the name and position of a person, the organization they work for, as well as their office address. That is the business card. Let us look at the next, which is the telephone directory. A telephone directory is a compilation of names, addresses of telephone subscribers, and telephone numbers of individuals and organizations within a given region or country. It is usually handled by a receptionist for easy tracing of customers and suppliers' telephone numbers whenever necessary. All right, so let's look at the next one, which is letters and memos, which is known as memorandum. The receptionist, being the first person to contact for visitors, also handle general business documents coming into or leaving the organization because guests, contractors, 
job seekers, delivery personnel, customers, vendors, most times leave their business documents with the receptionist. That will bring us to the end of the lesson. I'll see you next class. Please stay safe and bye-bye.